Hey guys, this is H to the Uck Huck coming back at you with another Chris's Coaching Corner. This is going to be the, the second um, defensive side on this Gibraltar map, following up the first that was just posted. Um, it was a pretty close game, to be honest. The defensive side ended up holding on the third point about halfway there. But let's get right into it and see how they do. Um, of course, the teams have been swapped. You can see defensively a very similar position. Defending on this high ground um, seems to be the commonplace for both of these teams. Looks like the Winston, they're kind of supporting that lineup there, but they're going to end up falling back. Let's see what happens. I'm not a big fan of holding the shield up no matter what. Interesting lineup, though, actually. Just a comment on this. They have a Torbjorn turret plus a Mercy. Um, and then on the opposite side, they got like a big pick lineup. They got actually Genji, Soldier, and Widow. So, both sides coming out with an interesting composition. This bubble actually not coming up. You want to land it up here, but overall it's okay. It's cracked. It did it's did its job anyways. And they're going to kill that turret. Um, and they're just going to jump back up there and be aggressive. The defensive side going to the tried and true. Falling back to server side. Great job, buddy. Both teams so far. Um, I like the Winston here. He didn't accomplish much, to be honest. But the Winston here, poking, just seeing where they're set up, calling to his team. Soldier getting in position, knowing that he can do a little bit of shield damage. Not in too much danger for himself. I like it. Um, this, this Zen, you can see Zen's shots coming from that side is way out of position. This is, that is... I don't, I don't like this. I don't really know what this is going to accomplish. Maybe you can pick off the soldier. Um, but you're counting on your Zen being way better than their soldier. Especially with the Widow out there. Especially with the Genji. Especially with the the uh, the Winston. Um, you don't have a Lucio that can speed boost you out. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that Zen being there. But it is what it is. You can see the Widow actually here looking for picks towards the turret. The Zen trying to pick her off. And the Diva going for some a flank. I don't like this defending side. They have a turret. They have a clean setup here. But they're forcing their Reinhardt to fight on point against a Winston. He's shielding nothing. They have a Zen that's somewhere on the bottom of the screen trying to shoot a Widowmaker who has complete vision. Like this Widowmaker has... A perfect line of sight with no uh, shield there and then at the same time they have a diva flanking this I feels like they're kind of all over the place they end up actually getting two. wow uh, that diva paying off at the flank so it buys, buys off widow misses a couple shots and it seems like that diva is actually gonna kill two people and now they're just gonna be super aggressive try to clean up on the fight diva getting three kills now overall Hey, it paid off. I have my criticisms, um, but all together they got the picks. Steve is playing a great game so far on this defensive side. Um, I wouldn't mind them to reposition the turret or to reposition their characters. They're all kind of just uh, playing together now. Besides, I think the Zen is still off to the bottom left by themselves. Um, and it looks like they are repositioning a little bit. Turret's taking a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. D-Matrix coming up. Reinhardt shield coming up, turret doing a little bit of poke damage, not too much, and now they're moving out. Um, yeah, I don't, the turret dies, that's not a big deal, but this grenade, not having your shield up when that grenade comes out, or D matrix, that's a, that's a rough one. And he's going to charge in here, actually, and this is just really, really rough. The, the soldier's getting healed slash damage boosted with alt. But the fight, the fight is all happening in here. They're doing a great job. And you can see the Genji about to go in there as well. Although I th feel like the soldier's going to get a pick or two. This Zen also, I don't I don't understand what this Zen is doing. It's so out of position. I don't know. I don't get it. And yeah, like, they have some people doing damage over here. They have the Zen. They have the Mercy. They have the soldier. But they're just getting dove super hard in server. And... There's just not a lot of vision once you get in here that, you know, can be provided. There's no clear line of sights for the Zen or the Soldier to fire, especially with the Winston Shield or the cart as used natural cover. 
I don't like that. I feel like defensive positioning there was so bad. They even had the res. Res was the first ult up and they couldn't use it because the Mercy's never going to be able to get back from where the soldier was back to the group of people. And now they're staggered. Once again, the Zenyatta by themselves um, pushed way too far are going to get staggered here most likely. Also, the Reinhardt here by themselves. The McCree by themselves. Like they're one, two, three. Instead, if they were three up here, or they just waited for the team. Um, very staggered. They lose two of them. Reinhardt's lucky not to die just because he can charge out. Um, compliments to the attacking side for being aggressive and spotting out those weaknesses and being very prepared just to go on them as soon as possible. But it looks like defensive side are going to be a little bit more coordinated playing together this time. Trying to get high ground, but you can see clearly attacking side already in control of it, already trying to push them off. In the meantime, they have three people on cart pushing, and they're getting ready to 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 fall back if they need to. Um, and it looks like that's exactly what they're gonna do. Uh, they actually get a pick here, a random pick by the Zenyatta. Um. I don't mind it, but this fight is super uncoordinated. There isn't much to say. Good Earthshotter coming out, hitting one, trading his life. Oh, they're just playing off the res. I guess they were just being super aggressive to play off the res. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. But they're still very uncoordinated. You have a Zen that's flanking. You have a Soldier that's flanking. You have a Mercy and a Reinhardt that die very early. Um, not the way I would play defense on this map specifically in this part of the map specifically but i guess they were just trying to get the res out um and playing very aggressive to play that um i like the zen ult a lot of people were low he's doing a great job of healing um keeping everybody up basically save his team all in all hey it worked i can't complain too much um Good retreat by the soldier to get out of the shuttle while the Genshi was pushing him, waiting for his team. They're trying to get back on high ground. The problem with this, they're trying to get high ground, which is the right point. So they're going around, they're getting up here. The problem is, is that not only are the attacking side already on high ground, but the cart, the cart is going to be pushed. By the time they get up there, the cart is only two or three seconds away from capping in itself. So sure, you might get high ground, but you're going to have to drop. Anyways, you can see that they're still trying to get high ground and these two people are uncontested are just shoving it down their throats um great bubble as soon as he high noons what happens this combo these this winston this genji all game have been extremely coordinated jumping on the same target prioritize calling out saying hey get him mccree right now um and they're just cleaning up fights. I feel like the only thing I would say is that they kind of overused alts a little bit on the attacking side here. But defending, they have been a mess so far. So far. And now the soldier ults. Um, 4v1 from up here. Not quite competent in that one. Um, a, lot of, a lot of blunders from the defensive side uh, so far this game. Uh, Zenyatta, I think, jumped off. I'm not sure how else Zenyatta would kill themselves. Um, and that's fine. But we're going to get into the third leg now. And actually, you can see from the timer on the attacking side, um, you know, the opposite that that's opposite side. They had four and a half minutes and they failed to cap it. I think they only got the payload to here or here. Um, and now the enemy side have four minutes. So let's see if they can put up this a same defense. And they're actually going for a similar composition. We get the switch here um, to Widowmaker. Um, and actually, it's a Widowmaker versus Widowmaker battle. Interesting. That's pretty much the primary, primarily, primary change is this widow, that widow, and then on top of that, it's the uh, the the Genji from the attacking side. Um, strange composition. I don't I don't know if I like the the Mercy here with the Zen combo, but hey, widow versus widow battle can't hate it too much. And it actually looks like the defensive widow gets the first pick on the soldier. It's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Widows are trading shots here. They're going to jump in and be aggressive. The Winston trying to create space for his team, but they're going to lose that uh, 
that widow versus widow battle and now they're just going to be a little aggressive genji doing his job immediately getting on the squishy getting on that mercy um and i don't i don't know what this winston is doing this winston needs to be looking for the genji um and he's fighting the enemy winston instead of chasing down this genji so it seems like they they're having a problem with calling out targets knowing who they should be looking for and just the general game plan from the defensive side yeah and officially this map's pretty much done but we're gonna play it out anyways see what happens good bubble um attacking side being very patient not really forcing too much i like this winston getting on the soldier with the bubble don't mind it at all but it might be too little too late at this point doing a great job mechanically jumping in and out of shield going in and out uh forcing the soldier to play around that bubble instead of staying inside or staying outside where he can actually get shot on his enemy and they're trading out i don't mind trading out heroes defense uh you have a spawn point that's a lot closer that ultimate on the attack side is kind of not worth it you really are only hitting yourself or one other person maybe that winston but your team's already down so many members um not really useful and they actually pull it together here so defense gonna get another shot to full hold um on this third leg but they got a while to go and they actually switch to may here just to buy time it's probably a stall pick um but at this point they're gonna say you know what keep it you're already at 31 percent and may's gonna charge that all pretty quickly and they only have one fight realistically i don't know what's going on here uh it seems like this soldier on the blue side is constantly being very aggressive playing outside his shield at the same time this reinhardt could jump up to protect him um but not and that soldier is going to go down and now they're in a lot of trouble uh you can hear the soldier ulting with that nano boost great earth shatter puts him on the ground um uh, maywall as well zoning this zen alt not too sure what that was um yeah and now you're just in a lot of trouble as the defense especially with that genji blade coming out this might be over pretty soon i want to say the defense was very sloppy it seemed like they didn't know positionally how they wanted to play any of the points like they were constantly experimenting um at the same time yeah that was that was a that was a rough game um but that's it that's it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed both sides of that and i'm going to be coming at you with another video very soon